Hello, Half Size Me community. So I am going to come to you today as just a fellow human being who has had struggle this week. And I want to use the lesson from this week's webinar in my personal life to teach via example, which you know I'm all about. So uh, this week's webinar was about your mind, about the tricks your mind plays on you, about controlling your mind. And if we were to rate Heather on a scale of uh, A to F <laughs> on her ability to do that last night, she would have probably gotten a D minus. <laughs> um, I have been struggling this last week with a foot issue. I've, I've not really come out and shared it completely, but I've been struggling with a foot issue in my left foot. It's been on the side and top and into the ankle area, a lot of tingling and pain and, and things of that nature. And I have had the attitude I'm going to push through and it's not been getting better. And yesterday it probably hurt the worst. And so I came to the determination last night that I needed to go see the doctor, like really go see the doctor. And that is not an easy decision for me to make because in my mind, I was making up stories. I was saying, okay, Heather, they're going to, you know, I was looking online to see all the possible reasons this could be happening. And I was making up all the stories, right? I'm not going to get to compete in July. Um, they're going to tell me I have to stay off my foot. I'm going through all this stuff and, and feeling very defeated, feeling very sad and almost weepy. I mean, I was just really in a bad place last night. I got that awesomer pass and I wasn't feeling so awesomer. <laughs> but I don't want any, I'm not saying any of this because I want anyone to feel sorry for me. I get in the grand scheme of things, we're talking about a jump rope competition. I see people coming into the gym missing a limb or in a wheelchair. I get that in the grand scheme of things, first world problems. But for me, I'm the kind of person when I commit to something, I really commit to it. So I don't commit to a whole lot unless I really, really, really want to be all in. And I'm really all into this jump rope competition. I love jumping rope. It's something I truly just enjoy doing. I would do it even if there wasn't a competition. And I've enjoyed the process. And so for that to be tainted or taken away from me by something outside of my control is really hard for me. That's something that... I struggle with internally is I don't have the option to, okay, or feel like I don't have the option to. So my mind spiraling out of control, all of the negative thoughts, all of the possible outcomes, feeling defeated. So guess what I did? What any good person that's had a problem with eating, I ate out of the line with my goals. <laughs> Remember, I'm human just like you, right? I suffer the same things. Here's the difference though. One, it wasn't a binge like it would have been in the past. It was just me eating in excess of what I intended to eat, allowing myself to feel feelings and deal with it with food. I'm guilty as charged. I'm human just like you. But then the next morning, I made the decision that I was going to take a hiatus from jump rope for a little bit. I am going to go see the doctor. And I reminded myself, Heather, can you possibly know that you are not going to get to compete in July? No. Can you possibly know what's wrong with your foot? Are you a doctor? No. Let's take the, the, the steps and actually find out the truth and then make judgments as we go, right? So don't stay stuck in your head. Don't make up all these stories. Don't let it bring you down. Let's go get facts and find out what we can do about this. Okay, so that's the goal today. Call the doctor, set up the appointment, all that. And then I said to myself, I'm giving you permission, Heather, to go do a weight training workout without the feeling of you should have been doing the jump rope. Because in my mind, I'm very conditioned now that when I come to the gym, I do my jump rope training first and I always have my jump rope with me. I gave myself permission to leave the jump rope at home and enjoy my weight training workout for a weight training workout, not something that I thought it should be. And I know that might seem a little blurry, but in, in your mind, a lot of times you have this belief of what you should be doing. And to give yourself permission not to do that can be very freeing. And that's what I did. I gave myself that permission. And you know what I did? I freaking rocked it today. I went in there and maybe I just had more energy because I didn't do the jump rope training first, but I rocked 10 sets, four sets of 10 reps of military push-ups like I was in a freaking movie. I felt so badass, excuse my language there, but I did. And I was grateful in the moment. I'm like, Heather, 
you couldn't do this a year ago. Like I couldn't have rocked the, I mean, I'm talking the ones where the elbows are on the side, they're rubbing up against each other. Ones you see people doing in the movies. That's what I did. Four sets of 10. And I was so proud of myself. And I, I said to myself, you would not have maybe done this today. Had you not taken that break from the jump rope, had you not allowed yourself to enjoy the strength training workout for a strength training workout and really prioritize differently. So today my commitment is this to myself. One, I'm going to keep the old mind in check, not allow it to spiral out of control. I'm going to take the necessary steps to actually find out what's going on with the foot and get that remedied. Um, and I'm going to eat in accordance with my goals and give myself permission to take a break um, and not allow it to mean more than just that. So I'm sharing this with you, vulnerable moment here. I know you maybe didn't make it all the way to the end, but I had to put this out there because this went right in line with the webinar this week. And I'm telling you now, the reason I tell you guys the things I tell you in the webinar, I need to hear it just as much as I know you need to hear it. Catherine this week had posted, she feels like sometimes with maintenance, it's a little bit of a struggle because you're getting on your habits and then you're coming off your habits, on your habits, off your habits. Part of the process is accepting you're human. You're sometimes going to have a human response and it's less about you trying to avoid that as opposed to quickly picking back up with what you know you need to be doing and moving on. I let myself wallow a little last night in (laughs) self-pity. And then today I picked myself back up, dusted myself off, marched my butt to the gym. And it would have been easy to say, I'm not going to the gym. I can't do my jump rope training. I'm injured. I could have done that, but that wouldn't have been true to my character. And that would not have been me fighting for something that's more important, which is my general health. I love you guys. I hope you can learn from this. I hope that this isn't too long. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll keep you posted on the foot issue. Um, And let me know how you're working on your thoughts this week down below. Take care. Bye.